much can you hear me, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, Chairman Sage, uh, it is remarkable what the Southern Ute has accomplished over the last several decades, creating and operating new businesses on and off the reservation that now generate millions annually for your tribe. While your tribe seems to have a very diverse portfolio of investments in real estate, housing, and gaming, oil and gas production appear to be particularly important. Can you share a bit about your tribe's experience with the National Environmental Policy Act, also known as NEPA, and on any other federal regulatory barriers as you have advanced energy development on your tribal lands? If I can get this to mute. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you for uh, Yes, NEPA hinders on reservation development and construction, not just energy mute. development. Every time a major federal action is pending, NEPA is triggered. At a minimum, minimum, agencies should use tribal environment analysis and where the tribe has the kind of sophisticated government, such as Southern New Indian tribe, it should be allowed to develop and administer its own TIPA, Tribal Environmental Policy Act, instead of the federal NEPA. With the part two, the tribe often faces inconsistent requirements through the various federal agencies on a single project, BLM, BIA, and USF, USFS, United States Forest Service, have inconsistent requirements. Consistency across federal partners would greatly benefit Indian country. Thank you. And, and so would you support uh, current efforts to modernize NEPA to help bring clarity uh, to these various uh, matters? Yes, definitely. And are you concerned by some of the uh, environmental proposals, particularly those that are more extreme, that are out there that would ban fracking or phase out fossil fuels completely? That's a good question. So, um, <laughs> you know, to be determined. With, yes, yes, definitely. I, it, it would have to take a lot of um, review, um, collaboration, um, to make sure that this is going to benefit the Southern New Indian tribe. Right, and, and of course, if you ban fossil fuels outright, then uh, you have the same situation that uh, President Nez had, where they're looking, at, as many people in my district are looking for ways to replace the, the revenues from coal, and his statement early on said 30 to $50 million had been lost by the, the nation as a result of closing down the coal-fired power plant and the coal mine that uh, previously was uh, hiring and, and employing uh, members of, of his nation. Would that be the same if they suddenly shut down oil and gas production in your area? Yes, it, it, it's a balance there. So it, it yeah. would definitely be a type of a balance. But, but and I it, appreciate it, that. It, it will us, so definitely. Yeah. Thank you. And, and President Nez, do you have any uh, any comments that you might make on how do we replace that 30 to $50 million mm -hmm. that you said was yeah. lost as a result of the uh, shutting down of the coal-fired power plant and the coal mining jobs? How do we replace that? And how does that impact your ability to try to get electricity to the roughly 10,000 homes uh, sure. in the Navajo Nation that currently lack electricity? Yeah, well, thank you for that question, Representative Griffith. And let me go to Representative Castor's uh, question about clean energy and climate change. Yes, we are uh, seeing closures of coal-fired power plants, one on the Navajo Nation, another outside our nation, and there's a, a potential of others uh, closing down in the future. And that's jobs and, and revenue and the local economy getting uh, impacted negatively. But there is a move to transition away from uh, fossil fuel into renewable energy. We do have some projects that are being planned right now, solar and wind. And, you know, it comes back to, as was mentioned, these uh, federal regulations, you know, NEPA, to be able to set some of those uh, regulations aside could really jumpstart some of these projects quickly. And I so, appreciate you all talking about that. Thank you. So reforming NEPA would actually help uh, some of the renewables as well. 
One of the other things that I've been championing is, is that we have research parity on both fossil fuels and clean energy fuels. I'm not trying to reduce uh, any of that, but I think if we had uh, parity, we could uh, maybe figure out a way to make that uh, coal-fired plant a little cheaper uh, or a little more efficient and uh, less costly in the sense of pollutants. That being said, I see my time is up and I have to yield back, but thank you so much all the witnesses for your time. Thank, thank you, Morgan. So next, we're